Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings and Yahoo for Monday, June the 3rd. Uh, we just got a three-game Monday slate, um, and today's uh, slate actually is like sort of a night uh, night slate. The first game of the night starts at 940, and then there's two more games, both at 1010. Uh, so there's four games in total today. One of them starts at 4 o'clock, and then the other three games are all late-night games. Uh, so our quote-unquote main slate for tonight is actually sort of like a night slate, so... Uh, we're still going to look at it like normally, uh, take a look at pitchers, talk about all the pitchers I like on this three-gamer. We'll look at some hitters I like. We'll go over some stacks if I'll be stacking on this slate. Then we'll talk about some BVP plays uh, before we end the video. Um, just before we do get started, guys, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, so for pitcher today, six or six options since we have three games. Aaron Nola leads the pack on both sites. He's the most expensive pitcher on both DraftKings and Yahoo. He's 9600 on DraftKings and on Yahoo. He is $47. Um, I think Nola is the clear-cut like best option today in a matchup with the Padres. I like him a lot on both sites. Uh, so this is a Padres team that strikes out a lot versus right-handed pitching. They're going to roll out seven righties today. And Aaron Nola is very good versus righties. He does struggle more to lefties, but the only two lefties in the projected lineup are Greg Garcia and Eric Hosmer, who are not very good hitters. Uh, so this is a spot where Aaron Nola has a ton of upside. After a rough start to begin the year, he's been sort of uh, feeling his groove lately. He's been pitching a lot better, especially like his last three starts. At home against the Rockies, 34 draftings points. Against the Cubs, 17 DK points. Against St. Louis in his last start, 29 draftings points. Like I said, he got off to sort of a rough start, but he's been pitching a lot better lately. Now he gets to face a Padres team that strikes out a ton and is not really a good offense in general. Uh, so I really like Aaron Nola as the top option today. I think he is the guy that I'm going to be playing the most at pitcher today. Uh, and then SP2, I think there's multiple ways you can go. I think the three guys I'm going to be considering for SP2 are Robbie Ray, Walker Buehler, and Eric Lauer. I don't think I'm going to be going to Corbin Martin on the slate, and I'm not going to be playing really any Wade LeBlanc either. Uh, so between Ray, uh, Buehler, and Lauer, the guy that I like the most is Walker Buehler. He's 8,900 on DraftKings. He's uh, cheaper than Robbie Ray. He's 1,600 more than uh, Lauer. I think Buehler is the best SP2 option to pair with Nola on DraftKings. But if we actually go over to Yahoo and look at their pricing, you have Walker Buehler at 46, just $1 less than Aaron Nola. Then you have Robbie Ray at 39, and then you have Eric Lauer at 32. I really like going to Robbie Ray on Yahoo, where he's uh, cheaper than Walker Buehler by quite a bit. On DraftKings, where uh, Walker Buehler is actually cheaper than Robbie Ray, I'll just be playing mostly Walker Buehler over there. Uh, so Buehler I like a lot here against this Diamondbacks team that does have some strikeouts in its lineup. It's a lineup that's going to roll out just three lefties. Uh, a lot of righties here, Adam Jones, Christian Walker, Tim LaCostro, Nick Ahmed, Carson Kelly. Uh, the pitcher, Robbie Ray, is a lefty, but obviously the pitcher you're not really worried about in the lineup. So I think if Buehler can get through the top three guys, Dyson, Marte, and Escobar, he can have a lot of success against these, uh, against these righties. He feels like one of the more safer options that you can pair with Nola. Uh, there's not really a ton of safe options that you feel good about at SP2. Like Eric Lauer could easily get blown up by this Phillies team. I could see Wade LeBlanc uh, really struggling against the Astros. I could see Corbin Martin really struggling against the Mariners. So for that reason, I think I'm going to be looking to Walker Buehler a lot on DraftKings. But if we go over to Yahoo, Robbie Rays I think is the better play for cheaper. Robbie Ray is a guy that has a ton of upside. This is not the best matchup for him. Facing a Dodgers team that is pretty good versus the left-handed pitching, has some righties that can hit lefties well, especially at the top of the order with Freeze, Turner, Taylor, uh, Kike Hernandez, all those guys from the right side can hit lefties well. But there still are some strikeouts in this lineup. Even those right-handed hitters will strike out versus the lefties. And then when you get towards the bottom of the lineup, you've got lefties in there, and Robbie Ray is very good versus the lefties. Will Smith, another righty in the lineup, but Will Smith, not that great of a hitter. Then you got the pitcher at the bottom of the, uh, the lineup. Uh, so on Yahoo, I actually like playing Robbie Ray over Walker Buehler because he's much cheaper. Robbie Ray is a guy that has 25, 30 point upside uh, pretty much any time he gets on the mound. It's not the best matchup for him, but I imagine he's going to be somewhat lower owned compared to Buehler. Like I feel like on Yahoo, a lot of pe people are just going to play Nola and Buehler together. I'll be looking at Nola and Ray over on Yahoo, but... Like I said, on DraftKings, I prefer Bueller because he's cheaper than Robbie Ray. That should lean to Robbie Ray getting less ownership, so Robbie Ray might be a guy you can look to on DraftKings as a sort of a lower-owned play. 
Uh, but he is pretty risky in this matchup. And since Bueller is cheaper, I think I would just rather play Bueller. Uh, but now talking about some hitters that we can look to, I think the Astros are going to be a clear team we look to stack on this slate. They are by far in the best matchup against Wade LeBlanc. Wade LeBlanc is by far the worst pitcher on this slate. So I'm going to be targeting a lot of these Astros bats. I really like Alex Bregman today. He's one of my favorite hitters to pay up for on both sides. He's 4900 on DraftKings on Yahoo. He's very expensive. He's $27, but I think he's worth the price tag. Uh, so Alex Bregman has always been a guy that's matched left-handed pitching throughout his career. Now he gets to face a left-handed pitcher in Wade LeBlanc who is just not very good, not really a guy that's going to go out there and get a bunch of strikeouts. He's a pitcher that's going to throw the ball in the zone, going to allow these hitters to hit it. And when you're throwing the ball in the zone to a guy like Bregman, can easily take you deep, if, if not once, can go deep twice, three times. We've seen Bregman with multiple double dong uh, games this year. So I really like paying up for him on this slate. He's going to be insanely popular, but I think he's worth it. I think he has pretty much the easiest, or I'd say out of all the hitters on the slate, He's one of the more likely ones to hit a home run today. So I really like going to Alex Bregman. Also really like uh, Miles Straw as a value play. He's expected to lead off versus Wade LeBlanc. He is dirt cheap on both sides. On DraftKings, he is 3500 And on Yahoo, he's the minimum salary in the outfield. He's all the way down here at $7. Uh, so Miles Straw is not that great of a hitter, but he is a guy that does have a lot of speed. If he can get on base here against Wade LeBlanc, he can definitely steal bases. He's only made uh, one start this year. I think he actually made two starts. He made his first start uh, on June the 1st against Oakland. He went 0 for 4, and then I know he started again on Sunday. I think he did get on base Sunday, and he did actually steal the base as well. Uh, he's not a great power hitter, but like I said, he has some speed. If he can hit the ball into the gap, he can turn like a double into a triple, a single into a double with how uh, fast he is. So really like Miles Straw leading off for a team with the highest total on the slate. I think he is one of the clear top value plays on the slate, dirt, che or dirt cheap on both sides. And then for DraftKings to fill out my five plays, I'm going to be going to another Astro. I really like Yuli Gurriel. He's very cheap on DraftKings. He's only 3500 He's expected back cleanup here for the Astros. In my eyes, he also is one of the best value plays on the slate to go along with Miles Straw. Both guys, 3500 batting for an Astros team with the highest total on the slate, facing the worst pitcher on the slate. I think Yuli Gurriel is a top value. Again, I really like him here versus a lefty. Gurriel, pretty good versus lefties. And uh, Wade LeBlanc, not that good of a left-handed pitcher. Definitely a pitcher we can attack. Uh, so that's where I'm going to be looking to go on DraftKings. I'm going to be playing a lot of Astros over there. On Yahoo, Yuli Gurriel is actually pretty expensive. He is $17 at third base. I think there's probably other ways you could look to go. Like Kyle Seager at minimum salary, I think is a really good play at third base. He'd probably be the guy I'd play over here. So if we actually go to first base, I do like the Mariners quite a bit versus Corbin Martin. I think the Mariners are going to be a team that I like to stack up as well with my Astros stacks. Uh, um, Daniel Vogelbach at just $14 on Yahoo. I like quite a bit. I think he is very cheap for this matchup. Uh, Corbin Martin will give up some home runs. Vogelbach does have a ton of power. He already has 15 home runs on the year. He does have a lot of power versus righties. And like I said, Corbin Martin... Not that great of a pitcher. He's made a couple starts this year. Had that really good start at home against Texas. And then after that, things have been pretty rough for him. Uh, against Boston, he got tore up for two runs and threw four innings. Against the White Sox, three runs and three innings. Against the Cubs, three runs and three innings. Uh, so he hasn't been pitching that well lately. We can definitely attack him with some of these Seattle bats. And I do like Vogelbach quite a bit on uh, Yahoo at $14. You can also play him on DraftKings. Uh, you would just have to like uh, remove Gurriel. I think Gurriel, you can play at third base, but then you'd have to take Bregman out, which kind of sucks. I don't think Bregman's uh, shortstop eligible. No, he's not. So if you want to play Vogelbach on DraftKings, you're either going to have to move Gurriel to third base and take out Bregman, or you take out Gurriel and put Vogelbach in his place. Uh, but I do really like him on both sides, especially on Yahoo. Really like these Mariners bats as well. They're relatively cheap. Like No hitter is over 4400 Encarnacion is the most expensive hitter at 4400 then you've got a lot of value with Malik Smith leading off at just 4100 Kyle Seeger's 3400 He's dirt cheap. I think he's a really good value. Mitch Hanniger, 4300 Domingo Santana, 42 So really like going to both sides or to bats on both sides of this Astros-Mariners game. That's definitely a game I'm going to be looking to for my hitters. Uh, but I think that's it for my five plays for DraftKings and for Yahoo today, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about some stacks now before we end the video. Uh, so for me today, I think I'm going to be doing like Throughout my 20 lineups, I think I'm going to be playing 
a lot of Astros and a lot of Mariners. Probably have like some four man Astro stacks with four man Mariner stacks. Might have some five man Astros with like three Mariners or five Mariners with three Astros. Just kind of be mixing it up. Um, I don't really think I'm going to be stacking against Nola. Don't think I'm going to be targeting hitters in this Dodgers uh, D backs game. I think playing some righties versus Eric Lauer makes sense. Like McCutcheon, Segura, Hoskins, Real Muto, Kingery. If you want to target those guys, you could definitely look there. Uh, but I expect a lot of my hitters on this slate are going to be targeting, uh, or I'm going to be targeting this Astros Mariners game for my bats. Um, so I think that's it for stacks today, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about some BVP now before we end the video. Uh, so we got three BVP plays today for the main slate. Uh, David Fries gone four for ten with a home run off of Robbie Ray. Kike Hernandez six for twenty six with three home runs off of Robbie Ray and Josh Reddick has gone 7 for 15 with a home run off of Wade LeBlanc. Uh, so those are all the BVP plays that I got for today, guys. I think that is it for the video. Um, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Just a short three-game slate tonight. Uh, late start as well, 940 lock time. So make sure you take note of that. I'm sure Tuesday's slate is going to be a full like 15-gamer or whatever. So we'll be back to a normal size slate on Tuesday. Uh, but even on this short, uh, short three-game slate, I'm still going to be playing my normal amount of volume. going to be playing my 20 lineup. So... Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, hopefully it helped you. If you enjoyed, make sure you click that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Or like always, you can hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT if you do have any questions. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Good luck tonight. Peace.